Hi chums, right, <laughs> and the saga continues, okay. This one's here, Sarpo Mira, okay. These are the ones that are hard to get at the moment because um, they're, blight f they're, they're as, as blight free as you can get in a potato. So, obviously a big demand for them and they're a very good potato. They bake well, they boil well, they roast well. I don't make chips, so I don't know chips as in french fries. Um, I don't make those, so I don't know what they're like for that. But they're, they're a very good potato and I'm very pleased with them. And these ones were given to me by my friend Malagy. They've got a, sort of a pinky, like a pinky hue of them. Which is quite, which is quite I think it's pink anyway. I'm colorblind, so it could be anything. Green, <laughs> they're all poisonous. <laughs> So, <clears throat> where are we at now? Right, so we're cleaning, we were cleaning my mother's house out. Okay, so, as I say, we've got that done and we're on the garage now. And it's not too bad because I had cleaned it out a few years ago. So it's not just as bad as, as it might have been, you know. So, um, but there's still a lot of stuff in it, you know. So, as I say, we're getting through it and it's, it's hard work, mind you, because it's awful hard to deal with somebody else's stuff. But... If I can give you, oh, I don't see that, there's something, something not right here, this, 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 this is not sitting the right way I want it. That's fair enough, isn't it? Yeah, that's, that's near enough. I'll just bring it back like that way. Right, that's okay. Um, a wee bit of advice, folks. If you are able to do it, start clearing your work, your stuff out now. Um, so your children don't have to do it. Um, and especially clean out stuff like old letters that you don't want people to read, okay? Because if you don't want people to know something, you shouldn't write it down. That's the bottom line, okay? And uh, so in other words, or somebody has written something to you that you don't want seen after you're dead, make sure you destroy the letters, okay? Um, what was I going to say? Yes. Uh, so that's where we are. I'm, what I'm doing now is, well not, not now, afterwards, uh, myself and Rosemary are going to go, go through our own house. And we're going to get rid of those telephone bills from 1974 or 84, after we got married, and the electricity bills that, have, that are about 200 sh sorry, sheaves thick now, and all the stuff that you keep you don't need, you know. So we're going to do that. And my brother-in-law has a good idea. He has a tin box, like a like a, a biscuit tin, with all the all the important stuff in it. So if something happened, they know it, there's where you go to to get the important stuff. So I'm going to do the same sort of thing. I'm going to have the the box that you must not forget about, or you must you must use in all eventualities if you need any sort of emergency information or anything, you know. But get rid of all this crap, folks, because. I'm sorting my mother's stuff out now, and as I say, there's no joy in it at all. Okay, you do come across some funny stuff, and that's there, but mostly it's not funny. It's just a bloody nuisance, you know? So, uh, unless you're an organised person, just get rid of all this stuff, you know? One of my things, right, one of my things I have to do is go into my sock drawer <laughs> and get rid of all, this, all the socks you've only got one of. Do you know why your washing machine eats socks? Well, I don't know, we must have the most voracious washing machines ever that we have bought, because I seem to lose a lot of socks. But I keep the other one. <laughs> so, I don't know why. It's, maybe it's a wee touch of my mother in me, you know? But not, I don't know if it's because I can't bear to throw it out, or I don't want to throw it out and then find the one I've lost, you know? So, that's one of my jobs, to get rid of my single socks. <laughs> Although, from what I go to a girl, like Patricia, to get my feet done, um, because it's really nice, actually, somebody else cutting your toenails and stuff for you, you know? And she was saying to me that nowadays people don't even bother putting on socks the same colour, you know? If it used to be that I would, I would be scared. If I was walking past the police station and it was a Tuesday and I had Thursday socks with Thursday written on them, I'd be scared of the police scooping me. And saying, hey, you've had the wrong day on your feet there, you buy you. You're going to go to jail for 40 years. So, I was kind of, I'm kind of fucking OCD anyway, you know. And let's face it, I am. But uh, I would make sure that, like, Monday socks went on on Monday and Tuesday on Tuesday, you know. But 
So this girl was saying to me that people would wear like a Monday sock on one foot and a Friday on the other, or even worse, a Monday sock on one foot and a completely different type of sock on the other foot from a different pair altogether, not even a weekly pair. I can't understand that sort of thinking where people have such freedom in their lives to be able to do that, you know. I have myself tortured, but uh, what do you call it? So I have to do my sock drawer, that's, that's where I'm starting, my sock drawer, getting rid of all the odd socks. Now look, that's not, a great, that's not a great there, you know, but what is good about it is these potatoes do not have any eyes on them yet, so I'll be using those for seed this year. Um, how, much do you, how much do I pay? spend on the seed potatoes every year, probably about £30 on seed potatoes, $50 on seed potatoes. So if I'm going to do this for nothing, it'll just cut back a bit again, you know. Um, I'm not on an economy drive with my spuds or my garden, but I'm just kind of saying, where can I sort of save a bit of money to spend somewhere else? Like this money's not going to go into a savings account or anything. This is going to get spent somewhere else, you know. It's only a matter of diverting the money in a different direction, you know. So, uh, as I say, that's what I'm. That's what that's, that's my bit of advice for you folks. Start clearing your houses out now before you die, because don't leave it for your children to do. They will not appreciate it. Um, I'm also doing something else. I'm going to get my house put in trust for my children. I'm going to give my house to them basically, because if I have assets, if I have to go into a nursing home, which hopefully I'll be dead before that happens, but uh, if I did have to go to a nursing home, I don't want them. To, I don't want to lose my house to the government. After roasting myself working hard for many years to pay for this, I don't want to end up losing it, you know. So, what do you call it? Uh, I'm going to put it in trust for my children. And what I what you do then is you put the house in trust for your children until you die. They have it. They don't get it until you die. But you also get a clause of permanent right of residence until you die, so that they can't come along and go. Whoops! Out you go. It's our house, you know. And don't say it wouldn't happen. It could happen. I'm not, I hope it wouldn't happen in my family, but there are families where it could happen. Right? And I've, I've seen the same sort of thing happen. Have you ever seen people fighting over somebody dying? You're lying in hospital dying and people fighting over a piece of land? Yeah, it's not a nice thing to see, I can tell you, you know. So, um, thankfully it wasn't, it wasn't my family I saw that in, but I was very upset by it when I did see it. I couldn't, didn't believe this sort of thing happened. But anyway, that's where we are, folks. That's another bag done. Sarpo Mira. And we've got... That wasn't Sarpo Mira. The first bag was... Um, what was the other ones I did? Charlotte's Sarpo Mira. Oh, yes. I know those first. They were Maris Piper. They were Maris Piper, that first bag. So, there you go, folks. Um, that'll do for another one. That's three videos today. You are spoiled rotten, I'm telling you. Right. Um, do I do another one? Yes, I do. Okay, all the best now. Bye-bye.